The IPython notebook saves automatically, but we can click on this save icon if we want to do it manually. That creates a checkpoint. You can do the same thing through the file menu and revert to a previous one if necessary. You can edit cells of all types using the edit menu. You can run a code cell. There's interrupt and restart from the kernel menu and a list of keyboard shortcuts that you'll probably get used to. They're very useful. You can also show YouTube videos. But notice when we execute the YouTube video, it's too large. So we can click one time and make it into a scrolled output. Double click hides it all together and gives us a bar we can click on to bring it back. Notice the five means that we've already executed network X. So if we hit the tab key, that will bring the entire word network X up, put a period, and we'll see all the methods and things attached to the network X namespace, including graph, which we'll use later. And this is a tool tip. We can make it bigger by clicking on plus. We can scroll down, see the different things we can do, including some examples. Clicking on the caret will actually bring up a pager, which is at the bottom of the page. You can detach it with this icon, or you can hide it again by clicking on the X. Now let's look at some other things. If you put a question mark in front of a Python, you'll get a pager as the help. If you put a parentheses and hit tab, then once again you have the tooltip that you can either make into a pager or make larger. And again, you've got examples. Notice that uh, the notebook is saving automatically. Notice that uh, we're going to type and create an error situation. We haven't closed the square bracket, so this uh, end parenthesis is red. However, when we finish the square bracket, both are green because they're paired, and now both parentheses are green because they're paired. And now we've executed it. Now let's look at some magics. The, all the magics are given by the ls magic command, including the who magics, which I like quite a bit. Who ls is a list of things that have been defined so far, uh, names and the things attached to them. If you want to see what kind of things are attached, you can hit who's. And this will actually bring up a table uh, of the names and things that you can see. Finally, notice that if you have a really large view, and you need to scroll past it, you probably will need to go to one side or the other. There's an internal scroll bar that is only used for the actual cell itself.